Okay you guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going over all of my top favorite sketchbook brushes that I use all the time and why I use them and why you should also, if you haven't already, at least give these brushes a try. So now, sketchbook already comes with a lot of good default brushes, so I don't know if you can actually download free brushes from any external app or website and install it on sketchbook if you know that you can do that please let me know down in the comment section below and if not then i might just look at myself now i'm just gonna get started with the video i'm just gonna open the brush library itself and as you guys can see in the basics i have all the brushes that I frequently use. So I'm just gonna pick brushes from here first. The first brush is this Tattoo Inker. And I love this brush for either sketching or line art. Now, why sketching? Because this brush has this texture almost. I'm just gonna increase the size of the brush and show you the texture. You see here, it's really good for sketching okay if you're sketching something if you want to have that pencil kind of effect it, it it is really good for that and it also really really good when it's, when it comes to outlining stuff because as you decrease the size of the brush it still has the texture a little bit but it's so good to do your line art with especially if you want some sort of texture in your line art i would highly recommend using this brush i'm just gonna write the name of it right here the next one is this why i don't know why it says duplicate i believe this is in this is an airbrush this is airbrush okay this is airbrush so i use this brush for almost everything sometimes i just paint the whole painting just using this one airbrush and i'll be writing the name of it right at the bottom but if you know me and you know my videos you know how much i love using airbrush and you can actually use airbrush for anything like if you just decrease the size of the brush you can use it for line art you can use it for sketching even just decrease it even more and you will just be able to uh, you know sketch with the airbrush also and you can also obviously paint with airbrush as well now the good thing about this specific um, airbrush is that this is both harsh and also soft at the same time which is the reason why i really like this brush because whenever i'm painting i'm usually painting portraits and whenever i'm painting portraits i always make sure i'm keeping good combination of harsh shadows and soft shadows now what do i mean by that what do i mean by harsh and soft shadows so as you guys can see i i'm just gonna clear this up first of all so that i can clearly show you guys what i mean by that so this is a soft shadow and this is a harsh shadow or even if i increase the size of the brush even more this is a harsh shadow what do i mean by that as you guys can see the soft one the soft shadow right here has soft edges like you cannot really tell where the color is ending because it's merging with the white background so well that you can really you cannot really tell where the color is ending whereas as compared to these two you can actually kind of tell where the color is kind of ending even though the edges are still kind of soft they are not completely harsh as this one but harshness is still there you know harshness is still there and that and that is the reason why i love using airbrush for painting the whole face for the whole portrait because i can with just one brush i can draw the eyelashes i can draw eyebrows you know i can i can line art and i can do everything just using this one brush so this is one of my favorite brushes of them all and will be forever okay the next brush here would be another airbrush which i am looking for which is i guess this one this is yes the soft airbrush we actually have a combination of two where we have soft airbrush and hard airbrush and as i just said the hard airbrush is going to create hard edges and the soft brush is going to create soft edges and you won't be able to tell where how where the color is ending i hope that is making sense so if you even though you won't need this brush if you're using this airbrush which i just showed you you don't need these but i kind of 
like these brush sometimes i do use the hard airbrush but very rarely but yeah i like using this brush as well so i'm just gonna add it here as well the next brush i really like is this 8b okay i like this to sketch or to create sketches and to give my paintings this very um traditional sketch kind of look i use this even though they have a whole brush set you know dedicated to these pencils so you don't have to use 8b you can you can use any of these i'm just going to try 2b because that's going to be that's not going to be that intense as the 8b ones so if you know traditional sketching you know what 8b 2b is so they have this whole library right here which i really like but i always go ahead and pick up the 8b pencil right here as you guys can see i just love using this reason being i don't have to go back and forth and i can just use this one pencil to have these darker shades and i can also use this to have lighter shades so that's the reason why i do not really do all the back and forth when i'm sketching or painting anything i just pick up one brush and i'm good to go with those all right now the next brush or brush set the whole brush set that i like using is is colorless brushes so why i like colorless brushes i have a whole video on the difference between colorless and smudge brush so if you want to go ahead and know the whole thing why colorless brushes are different from smudge brush you can just go ahead and watch that video right now but i just love the reason why i'm all the time on sketchbook and um like i've recently been on sketchbook on sketchbook quite a lot is because of this brush and let me just show you what i mean by that so let's just say i painted something this is a painting and i'm gonna go ahead and pick up my colorless brush and i always make sure the opacity is low because you don't want to go crazy with this brush and let's just say i am blending over it or going over it to blend okay i'm blending it blending it blending it then i go on the side and paint you see i still have some of the color left on the bristles of the brush so to speak as you guys can see it's similar to q-tip when you traditionally sketch something and you are using a q-tip you know what i mean you use a q-tip and the and the color if you call it color from the pencil gets stuck the cotton on the q-tip and you can actually spread that color anywhere you want this brush is exactly like that so it sh i should not even call it colorless brush it's like a q-tip okay it's like a q-tip it's like a clean q-tip you are using okay i this is the reason why i love this brush not only you can just blend things out you can also take that shade and just shade anywhere else you want and this is the reason why i love using this brush whenever i'm sketching on sketchbook this is the brush i'm using the most this brush comes so so handy okay so the another brush i really like and which i recently discovered is paint brush one and let me just show you why okay this is going to blow your mind so just look at this what does this remind you of you know you can actually very easily use this brush to create some nice realistic looking hair just look at the stroke okay i don't know why i did not discover this brush before but i actually recently did and i was in love with this brush because even if i use this brush to create eyelashes for instance as you guys can see here they look so so good and so realistic i don't know why i was not really using this brush okay if you want me to create a tutorial on how to draw or create realistic looking hair or eyelashes or eyebrows with this specific brush then i am actually i'll be so happy to do that because i'm so fucking excited to use this brush okay so this is going to be our brush number six i believe i'm just gonna erase everything else and gonna put it onto the sixth position another brush and this is going to be the last one i really like is this brush called foam brush and i use it mainly to fill in color into my shapes because 
of its uniformity and what do i mean by uniformity when i you know draw a stroke like this the color is uniformly divided so as in let's just say this is a stroke this is still opaque but if i go over it once again this is going to fill the shape fully in with full pigmentation if that makes any sense so i use it mainly to just color in the shapes because it's like this marker which i can use to fill in the shapes if i'm coloring something okay and that's the only reason why i use this brush i do not like to use airbrush for that to color things in to color my shapes in because of its opacity and it's not actually uniform when it comes to the pigmentation it is giving me and i have to kind of go over and over and over again on that specific layer to get out the maximum pigmentation and i hope that it make that is making sense so firm brush to color stuff so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and found it helpful if, if you haven't already tried these brushes you can just go ahead and try these out just now and let me know which brush is your favorite brush on this app other than that i will see you guys in my next video